We're moving all these bags from one end of the barn to the other because we are making a space here to clean out the old barn so we can make a place for the sheep to have their lambs and just a place to get out of the weather at times when they need to. clean that space clean this space one thing I've got in here is all these big glass panels that I want to make a little cabin and I was thinking it'd be nice if it had lots of windows and I was thinking about using these big giant panels of glass I'm not sure exactly how yet that'll be a plan for the future but I didn't want to throw them away that's a problem with a lot of these things. I just don't want to throw them away. <laughs> okay, I got all that glass out of here. And now I'm just sort of looking at stuff laying around in here. I already knew about these garage door parts and this big box of nails coming open. But just some other items. Today I noticed uh, that there was some kind of pot in here. And I thought this was a plate until I saw this on the bottom of it and then I said, oh, wait a minute, that's a, a lid for the pot. So that's kind of neat. And then I found this almost a uh, homemade looking machete. The steel for the handle is thicker than the steel for the blade. It's kind of neat. I have no idea what this piece of pipe is for. There's really no evidence that there was any kind of plumbing or any, anything like that in here before. Oh, and actually I thought it was attached to the wall, but no, it's just, it's just leaned up here. So somebody just was saving it. I'm running out of daylight and clear weather. <laughs> so calling in a day, just putting a, have one of these repair poles for my fencing that I'm putting in the barn over here but at the same time I'm just enjoying listening to the rain coming in and raining on these metal roofs I'm also thinking about how glad I am that I did a, a three foot overhang on the front and the back all of this here so I can just walk around right out here in front and still be out of the rain listening to the guinea hens every night they have the challenge of getting back in the pen Inside the house, we need a place to hang some tools, some tools like this. Not like I'm not pointing at anything on the wall, <laughs> but like this. And so I'm making this big board that I'm gonna, I'm gonna frame around the edges and I'm gonna put some mounts. I'm doing this backwards, mount here, mount here to hang stuff on and make three positions. So that's what I'm working on right now. The, all these blocks and clamps and all that is because I took a piece of plywood and I glued this nice looking whiteboard onto it that has this uh, kind of whitewash sort of finish. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna be working on making some little uh, pieces that will screw onto that. I think I might make them black also, but I'm drilling this hole, then I'm going to cut this in half, so I'll end up with a little U-shape, a little block with a U-shape that things can set onto. You'll see. Hey, if you like our channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you have not hit like on this video, please do. 
I might start asking that because we just haven't had the growth that we've thought we would have. And I'm, I'm glad to take the time to do these videos. I enjoy taking the time doing these videos, but I am paying for a music service to try to have better music in our videos. And if I only made enough money, 20 bucks a month from YouTube, I'd be satisfied that, that we're breaking even, we're doing good. Um, we obviously we don't make anything from YouTube. We, uh, I think the beginning of being able to do something like that is a thousand subscribers and we have 425 and I enjoy having 425, but if we could get to a thousand, if you can help us get to a thousand, then maybe we can reach a point where we actually make $20 a month <laughs> and we can cover some of these expenses. Not, you know, not that we need to, but I just uh, am feeling like I, I can't justify paying for the music service too long without breaking even. Cindy hates seeing people advertise on their, on their channels. So that's about as close as we're ever going to get. If we do well and we're uh, starting to make some money from YouTube, more than 20, <laughs> We're not going to start advertising products. You know, I'll mention products sometimes. I'll tell you that Porter Cable makes good power tools or whatever I feel like I that, that is a good product that I use. But I'm not going to start getting suggestions from a coach on YouTube or something and start selling popcorn or candy or whatever they would, deodorant or you know, whatever they would want us to sell. Especially since this is not smell-o-vision. Yes, I'm a dad and have terrible dad jokes. Here's a neat trick I learned. If you have a hole saw or something, you know, you might know how hard it is to unscrew these. Actually, I've already loosened this one, so it's not that difficult. And hopefully this will work again. So these get jammed on here really good. This one, has, this one is not loose. If you use an impact driver, there you go, comes right off. I have taken pliers and device and vice grips and every kind of thing to try to turn these and get them off of here. Sticking a screwdriver through it and trying to unscrew it and that's just a great tip. Okay, I got those all sanded. So I'm gonna place these something like, maybe let's see. Maybe something like this. It needs to be further. So maybe something like that. And then the bigger ones back here. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint them or I might just leave them unfinished like that. I'm not sure. That doesn't look bad. I think the hardest part's gonna be making a frame to go around the edge of this.